Rebecca Brand, and today we're going to make a red velvet valentine cake. We're going to have flour, unsweetened cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, salt, sugar, butter, eggs, vanilla extract, buttermilk, red food coloring, white vinegar. So I'm preheating the oven. It's at 350 degrees. And let's start with our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put my butter in a mixer. This has been softened, so it's room temperature or a little more. That's one stick of butter and now one and a half cups of regular granulated sugar. And now we're gonna mix that up. I'm using a mixer today, but feel free to use a bowl and a spoon. Now let's add our two eggs. Just for variety, we're using two colors of eggs today. Let's mix that up too. We need one cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, or a little more as the case may be. I wanna add our red food coloring now, but it's a heck of a lot. Now the story behind this is it used to be made from Dutch chocolate originally, and Dutch chocolate had a ton of red in that chocolate. So to make it red modern day, since our chocolate is not the same kind of chocolate, we add the red food coloring. I'm adding two tablespoons today, but you could add more if you want a deeper red. Somehow this kind of disturbs me adding so much, so I'm stopping at two. But typical recipes would have four. Now check this out. This is going to be pretty as it blends. That looks pretty red to me. This is a messy recipe. There's a lot of casualties. It's like a crime scene. <laughs> Time to put together our dry ingredients. We have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. If you sift it, you have a more smooth texture in your cake. I hate sifting, so I have found that for me, this is the fastest way to sift, and it's one of these big strainers. So, okay, it's gonna take me 30 seconds, but what I don't like about sifting is really more of the cleanup. That's fine, I'm happy with that. That wasn't too bad, it wasn't too painful for me today. To that, we add one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa, one teaspoon of baking powder goes in, and one teaspoon of baking soda goes in. Let's mix that up, and we'll turn that on. After about one minute, let's push down the sides of what's sticking to that bowl. Maybe another 30 seconds, and that's gonna be it. Good, done. So let's get our pans ready. I am so happy I found these at a thrift store. And it's like, whoa, those would be awesome for Valentine's Day. So I pour some corn oil in there and I get a paper towel and I wad it up. And then I just, you know, mix up oil all around the pan. Okay, and now we add about a tablespoon of flour. We just, you know, toss it around the pan so all the sides are covered. And what this does is it makes like an invisible film that helps our cake pop out of that pan. Shake, 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 shake your cake pan. Time to fill our pans. <laughs> that happens sometimes in the kitchen. Okay, here we go. Now, this is what the batter looks like. I'm happy I stopped at two tablespoons, let me tell you. That looks pretty red to me. That buttermilk is gonna make this extra creamy. It's a really great recipe. The object of the game is to fill these up evenly. And if you talk too much like me or get too distracted, it doesn't always happen that way. I think that was a good guesstimate there. We're fine. These are gonna go into the oven for 28 minutes until they spring back when you touch the top. It's been preheated, 350. Kind of space them out evenly in your oven. Yay! Your cakes have to bake between 28 and 33 minutes. So check at 28 just to make sure. Now we're gonna make our frosting. So the ingredients for the frosting are powdered sugar, which is also confectioner sugar, vanilla extract, butter, cream cheese, and for our decorating, I'm gonna use red food coloring and granulated sugar. And I'm gonna show you a little trick about that. Because this is a special cake for Valentine's Day, I love my Valentine's. So I'm going to sift the frosting, which I usually don't do. And if you don't like doing this, you may skip these steps about the sifting. It's not gonna kill the cake. It'll make it smoother if you sift it, that's all. So we're doing three cups of powdered sugar. Done, messy. 
I've softened the butter. So that's going to go in my mixing bowl with a whisk to make that frosting nice and fluffy. And here's my softened eight ounces, one cup of cream cheese. Regular, don't go diet on me. Diet's not good in this recipe. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract or a little more. I always overdo the vanilla extract, but I think, ha, it's probably going to be better that way anyways. Whatever. I'm going to mix this hard because I want it light and fluffy, so I'm putting that on high. I'm going to save your ears. You're not going to have to hear this. I'm adding a half cup of powdered sugar at a time for a total of three cups, which is one pound. And you're going to scrape down the sides too. Let's get it all in there and all incorporated. Let's give it one more mix. Now check this out. Look at that consistency. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's delicious. Now you know what? Now you can stop here and you can have a little white cake, but I'm making this cake for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to crank it up a notch and I'm going to put some red food coloring in it and make it pink. Now I think a guy is really going to like this. Guys like feminine things. I'm not going to make him a brown cake because brown's more masculine. I'm making him a pink cake. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit at a time to get a nice little pink color. Not too dark. I don't want it red. I want it pink. Check that out. That's about three drops. Now I have another trick. So I put about a half a teaspoon of this red food coloring into the sugar. I'm going to stir it up because I want to make red sugar sprinkles to go on this cake. I am so excited about my little decorating day today. It's a little art project for me. This is how you make a very inexpensive colored sugar in your own kitchen. My next trick is to take a piece of paper. Now you did this when you were in kindergarten, I bet, and we're gonna cut a heart out of it. And this is gonna be my little decoration on top of my cake. Heart, okay, I'm happy. It's been 33 minutes, let's check it out. It's bouncing back. The edges have a little bit of air in them and that's how you tell. Toothpick test is clean. Out it comes. We need to let these cool before we frost them. They need to cool completely because that cream cheese and that butter will make a big mess on your cakes. Our cakes have cooled now. It's been a couple hours. It's time to frost them. So I'm taking them out of the pan by running a knife on the edges I want this whole heart to come out of there easily. You're never quite sure until you do it. Tap it, tap it. Aha, it worked. So with my hands, I'm going to place it on my little doily. So we're going to frost the first layer. Okay, the top layer has to go on. So again, make sure you get the sides well loosened. Okay, here we go, it's on top. So when I frost the top layer, I always put a lot on top first because I don't want to run out by doing the sides. Take a little bit at a time and just go around. I think I'm going to lick the bowl. <laughs> We're frosting the top and I like a lot of frosting on my cake. If you don't have those heart shaped pans, whatever. I'm going to show you the little trick with that sugar that's going to turn this into a Valentine's cake no matter what shape of your pans. Here is our stencil. I'm just putting it on there like that. Now just press that sugar through a strainer or sprinkle it like this. Either way is fine. Okay, careful lifting off your piece of paper. Voila. To get the edges really sharp with your sugar, take a knife and just draw. Push in the sugar that got out of the stencil. Isn't that cute? There's our happy Valentine's Day cake. Let's try it. Unfortunately, it's time to break my heart. <laughs> I want to show you what that inside looks like. Right down the center. Chop! Let's get a bite of this. Oh, man. Oh, mm. That is so velvety. It is truly a red velvet cake. The color is beautiful. So subscribe to my channel and let's keep cooking. Make this for your sweetie pie on Valentine's Day. Cheers. Here's to love. Uh -huh.